Hey my Juju Bees, welcome back to the channel. How are you guys doing today? Today is Thursday and I have tacos. It's not Taco Tuesday, we just gonna remix it and do Taco Thursday because I wanted something real bad today. So I am going to finish, um, maybe not finish, but I'm going to continue the discussion. Sorry, I'm very rude. How are you guys doing? If you are new here, Please don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. I would greatly, greatly, greatly appreciate it. Thank you so much. Shut the door, Mom. Sorry, I know I did last time. <laughs> so, um, I am also at 100 subscribers, okay? I am completely and utterly excited. So, what I'm going to do is do a giveaway for making it to 100 subscribers. And my goal is every 100 subscribers that I get... I'm going to do a giveaway. So this giveaway, um, I kind of need you guys' help to figure out what it is that I want to give away. I don't know if I want to just do like a cash prize or if I want to give away the book that I am discussing. So you guys let me know in the comments what you think I should do for this giveaway. And then when I reach 200 subscribers, I'll do another giveaway. And of course, by then I'll probably be on another book. So you guys let me know if I should do the book as the reward or if I should do a cash prize. It'll just be like $25 or something like that. I can cash app to whoever wins. So what the qualifications are for the giveaway is all you have to do is like this video and share it. Okay. Like it, share it, leave me a comment, and then I'll just put whoever's name um, in there and then I'll just pick that way but I want you to like the video share it to your social media wherever it is that that's all you have to do to enter is to like this video share it and subscribe to my channel that's all I'm asking for this video um so with that being said this is the giveaway so I'll put all that information in the description box below and I also put the link for this book in my description box too so if you were interested in getting this book you can purchase it i do have the link in my description box below if you are new you did not watch the video from yesterday you might want to go watch that video first but if you just are living on the edge this is the book that we're discussing i don't know if you can see it the light is kind of shining but um it's called i'm also flame by ashley antoinette my favorite 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 arthur so i'm going to get into these tacos and then i'm going to continue the discussion from the book I'm going to do the same thing as yesterday, kind of eat and talk. These are my tacos. So you can see I have a ranch taco. And then I have some home, like some corn tortillas that I fried. So good. I got it from my friend. She's from California, so she showed me how to make them that way. But I also, so inside of my taco, I just have ground beef. And then I have guacamole, like pico de gallo. It's like a salsa that's mixed. Taco sauce, sour cream cheese and i think that's it tomato maybe i think that's it now i'm gonna go ahead and get into this crunchy one because i am home oh i forgot to tell you guys i got my book lovers wine glass it came in my book lovers box that i bought from ashley isn't it isn't the box so cute but um i got it from my book lovers box so i thought i might throw that in the background today So, I watched my video back to myself yesterday, and I was thinking that maybe I could, I don't want to ruin the book for someone who has never read it. So, what I'm going to do is give a brief rest of the synopsis. So, like I said, something... So, um... I left off yesterday by letting you guys know that Benny Atkins died, which is um, Raven and Morgan's dad. So, she said, of course, her mom is devastated. 
because it, it just it's random. It's not like it was something that he was sick. You know, it was it was it was random. Like one day he's here, one day he's gone. And with him and Raven being at odds, of course she took it hard because it's on her. You know, it's on her. What what has happened is is really on her. So. So, like I said, everything that happened after that kind of made everything go downhill. So... So, I have this now, this now is going to seem like I don't know what's happening. Okay, so, everything that happened after Benjamin died kind of was traumatic. Of course, um, Justine was left to fend for herself. Morgan and Raven are now both fatherless. All because of the setup that was happening that Amazon convinced Raven to do. Now, I, don't know, I know I probably didn't say yes, so we'll start there. So, eventually, Raven, what Amazon convinces Raven to go against the grain. This is before. So, I, I okay, so he went against the grain, set him up, the dad died. I don't remember if. After that, of course, he told her, like, that ain't what he meant to happen, but it is what it is now. And so, you just got to go from there. So, Raven's mom was like, you know, I want you to be home. This is just a tragic time for all of us, and we need to be, we found new guy to stick together. So, that's really it. So, She went with her mom, you know, to help her with Morgan. Then her doctor didn't find a body. It was just all tragic. So Ethic came and, you know, made sure Justine was okay. He made sure Morgan was okay. And at the time, he was still telling Raven the same thing. Like, you got to probably keep it cool because the company that you keep, like I said, it ain't what it's all cracked up to be. So everything kind of went downhill with Mazan after that. He turned into like an abuser, like a real bad abuser. Like a, he had already manipulated her enough to have her think that he was the only person she could depend on or that she needed or whatever the case may be. Just an evil soul. And he tried to say that he was only doing it so that he could, you know, get all the information he needed from the connect. But eventually he started to be sweet on Morgan, but he had a, I mean, not Morgan, uh, Raven, but he had a real crazy way of showing it. And when I say beat her, I mean, he used to like beat her up. And she was so naive. And with her dad being gone, she didn't have nobody. So I think she had like a best friend, Nikki. Her best friend, Nikki, wound up being one of the ones who got shot, well, being the girl who had got shot when Mazan robbed his own house to convince more Raven to rob her own daddy. So, she... Okay, so, Benny's dead. At the came check on him. Whatever they needed, he said, go ahead. and He'll take care of the bill. Take care of the funeral expenses and things like that. So... Um... Bazan then, once he realizes that he get all the stuff that he, all the bricks that he needed to get from um, Benny, he still realizes that he doesn't have the connect. Like, he doesn't have the connect for him to be able to, you know, start over or, you know, first of the month, re-up, whatever the case may be. He, what, he can't do that because he doesn't have the connect. So, he tries to get the connect somehow and 
So he winds up trying to infiltrate the whole the whole group of people um, to figure out, I guess, who the connect is or how to get the source or whatever. So of course somebody never gives him the information. So he starts offering them, you know, everybody in in the thing to try to figure out if he can do that. I guess he can get the connect to come to him. Excuse me. So he found out like it was hard for him. He wasn't going to be able to just take over the streets after Benny died without people wondering like, you know, was you the one who robbed him before he died? You know, he wasn't going to be able to just get that off without nobody questioning what happened. So, like I said, he tried to off all of them because he knew that those would be the people that would come from. So, he had, like, of course, a few people who was in his immediate circle, Ethic being one of them. So, Mazan, of course, he can never get to Ethic because Ethic, he's smart. You know, he's um, very savvy in his approach. So, he was never able to get to him. All the while, like I said, continuing to still manipulate Raven at the time. Meanwhile, her mom, she doesn't have any money. She doesn't have a job. So they get her and they send her to jail for tax invasion. So she has to do like a five-year bid. Now, she don't know what life is like without Benny. She don't know what life is like without being a mom. Like This is something that she's lived for at least the last 20-some years. You know, Benny has been taking care of Justine since she was a teenager. So it's like she really was at wit's end and didn't know what to do. So when Justine went to jail, of course, well, Raven was still under age. She had to turn 18 years. So her and Morgan had to flee basically to go somewhere and she didn't want to take morgan to the house with her because like i said he was beating her up he was pretty 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 abusive to her okay so she was scared like she didn't want her sister to have to you know be a part of all of this so but she didn't have anywhere else for her to go and she didn't want her to you know get caught up in the system and she figured like you know when i turn 18 i can just be her legal guardian and things can go from there so eventually you know, once Mazan starts to kill off everybody that's in the media circle, everybody gets a little nervous. So, Ethic decides he's not going to stay in town. Because he's not going to wait on nobody to come to him. He's going to go ahead and get out the way. So... At this time, that's when you found out that Ethic is really the connect. The whole time, we thinking Benny is the big man. And we just don't know who Benny Connect is when in actuality, Benny really was working for Ethic and not the other way around. But Ethic let the streets believe exactly that. So, long story short, Raven still winds up being stuck in this situation now with Mazan. Once he starts to show his true colors about who he is, she's afraid, but she's also lost. She has nobody to go to. She has nobody who she can lean on. Her mom is in jail. Her sister is too young. Everything is just kind of like falling on her. And she has to try to figure it out. So she go through a lot. I don't. I can't give every single detail because I really want the people who haven't read the book to read it, but she goes through a lot with Mazan, ups and downs, leaving and coming back. You know, her sister being in and out of danger. All the while, Morgan is deaf. Like I said, she can't hear. So, But Ethic feeling like he owes Benny at least enough respect to look after his children and his wife during his absence. So he tries to step in. But by this time, Raven is so lost and engulfed in Mazan and trapped, basically, that she can't even get herself free from him. So... At the funeral of Benny, they had to tell her, like, you know, I'm going to get away for a little while. It's not safe. If you need me, here's my contact information. You can call me. So, yeah, I said, carry yourself, be smart, whatever case may be. He gets in the car. To leave, mind you, Mazan has been trying to kill everybody. Ethic was like the last one. He get in the car to leave. Mazan's hoping that he get in the car by himself. He do get in the car by himself. He blows the car up. He done put a bomb under the bottom of the car. He done blew the car up. 
Now I'm just outdone myself. Like, oh come on, man! Like you, you, you just getting low. When I say he was an evil, Mazan is like my least favorite character. When I say I cannot deal with Mazan, I just cannot. I can't deal with him. I don't like him at all. Not even a little bit. Like there's not even a little bit of hope. You know, like well maybe he did do the right. No, mm -mm. I, I just don't like him at all. He was like the meanest, nastiest, funkiest, dirtiest character that I've ever encountered. I just couldn't get with him. Don't get me wrong. I've encountered some other characters who I don't like. But that Mazan, I, I, I can't. Ain't no love here for him. Like, none whatsoever. None whatsoever. So, Ethic has to, go, of course, go to the hospital because they done blew up the car. He's hoping that he's dead. But Ray then runs to the car to get him out. So, he get him out, go to the hospital. He's burned, like, on one side of his body. I can't remember, honestly, if it's the right or the left side. But one side of him is burnt. So, he checks into the hospital, but he gets himself out soon because he's like, oh, somebody really trying to kill me. Like, I don't want to be here. I'm going to get on up out of here. So he leaves. Now, when he leaves, what's bad for Raven gets worse for Raven. Like, it, it just turns into a whole, like, horrible, 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 horrible thing. So I don't know what he comes back to uh, Flint for. But he comes back and he checks in on Raven and she's telling him, you know, everything is crazy. Basically, as much as she could tell him without, you know, without putting herself in a predicament. Mind you, Mazan is like one of those people who watches her every move. Like he makes sure she don't go nowhere without him. He don't, she don't talk to nobody without him. One day, Ethic tries to even come to the house. This is a little while before uh, the funeral and tried to get her to take her home and he wouldn't go like she wouldn't even go. So, um, when he came back this time, she was at, like at the wit's end. When I say she was like, he was like beating her up, like real bad, throwing her against the walls, like locking her in the basement. Like it, 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 it was tragic at this point. So eventually, um, Raven gets a little bit of sense and she tries to get away, but you know, it doesn't work necessarily that time. Ethic comes, he tries to save her. Um, but he secretly, excuse me, he secretly has a thing for Raven. But because she's young and she's Benny Atkins' daughter, I'm talking about ethic, he kind of like took off, kind of like, you know, took it, set in the background. He didn't really want to pursue her. And he felt like that she wasn't mature enough or ready for the lifestyle that he was trying to live and that he didn't know how he would even be able to, you know, mold her and make her be the woman that he needed considering the lifestyle that he was living. Oh. The first time she tried to get away from his line to go with ethic. He took her away, her and Morgan. And they kicking it. You know, I ain't gonna give all the details, but they wind up, he wind up being real good to her and for her. Helped her grow up a little bit, helped her get what she needed. Eventually, Mazan, like, finds her. And she goes back. Terrible when she go back. Like I said, he's locked her in the basement. It's just real bad. She was pregnant this time. This is the second time she was pregnant. He locked her in the basement until she delivered that baby because he thought the baby belongs to somebody else. And it didn't. It, it just didn't get any better for her. So finally she decides like, oh, I'm really going to have to go. If I don't go, he's going to kill me. You know, I, I have to get out of here. So she decides to flee again. Um, and Ethic tells her like, after this time, like, I'm not coming back to get you no more. This is the last time I'm not doing it back and forth. So, um, she gets all of the money she can get, you know, together, get her baby. Because by this time, her baby is a couple of, let's just say a couple of months old. I skipped a lot, y'all. This is for the people who haven't read it. Because I don't want to give every single detail. But she wind up getting all the money she can and making a break for it. Now, I'm not going to give the ending. Because if somebody really wants to read the book, I don't want to destroy it for them. But just know, because this I'm only going to do two videos on this book, because I'm going to try to just keep the videos to two videos per book. But just know, this is a good, good, good book, okay? 
It's going to have your emotions all over the place. You're going to fall in love with Ethic like I did because he is my absolute favorite, okay? I love his whole life. I love his whole being. I, I, He is like the epitome of the man, okay? And I, I can't make it no, no more, no. But like I said, it says, I, I'm going to read this last part and I'm going to close out the part of this book. But it says, Raven becomes desperate for a way out, but this time daddy can't save her. Every time she finds the courage to leave, fear convinces her to stay. Like a moth to a flame, Raven is drawn to Mazan, even though she knows he'll be the death of her. When the hood life she chose becomes unbearable and the only way out is in the coffin, what will she do? So, if you have not read this book, please, please, please go and read it. And then you can come back and we can discuss. We can have open discussions or whatever the case may be. But this is a good book. This is really a good book. Like I said, I won't give the ending because I don't want to ruin it if there is so happens to be someone who has not read the book who is watching this video. But again, this is Moth to a Flame. Please go and check this book out. So I think what I'm going to do is go to... Now, Ethic has his own series, but there is a series that is in between Ethic series and this. So I'm going to take a vote and figure out, ask around, see what I should, if I should go to the next series, which is the Prada plan, or if I could just skip right to Ethic. But thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget, if you are new to this channel, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Also, don't forget about the giveaway. I'm going to put the um, information in the description box below about the giveaway. The only thing you have to do to enter is to like this video, share, and subscribe to the channel. And that will automatically have you enter into the giveaway. And don't forget to let me know if I should do the giveaway should be a copy of this book or if the giveaway should be a cash, a cash prize. Thank you so much, Juju Bees. Until next time. Bye, my Jujubee.